This requires simultaneous withdrawal of Kosovo Special Police and protesters from the municipal buildings and their surroundings in North Kosovo, the mayors working from alternative premises other than the municipal buildings, as of now, two already do it voluntarily. It also means calling for early elections with Kosovo Serb participation without preconditions and return to implementation, which also includes a credible commitment to the process of drafting a statute of association slash community of Serb majority communities. And of course, we expect Serbia also to start delivering on its dialogue obligations. As we will see renewed violence flaring up over and over again, as the risk of escalations continues to run very high. It's clear that without an agreement on de-escalation, there cannot be return to implementation of the dialogue agreement. Distinguished members of the European Parliament, we are at a crucial junction in the EU-facilitated dialogue. It is regrettable that we have to deal with the crisis management in the north of Kosovo again at a time when we should fully focus on Russia's aggression against Ukraine. What is even more regrettable is the fact that the current crisis is happening at a time when we have a clear platform for normalization namely the agreements reached in February and March. I would therefore ask you to add your authority to our efforts to de-escalate and return to normalization. Both Kosovo and Serbia need to refrain from actions that have negative security implications and which distract them from issues that should really matter to them. Further escalation cannot be an option, and the time to change the course is now. That violence against case for troops by Serbian protesters is completely unacceptable. We expect proper criminal investigations and there must be consequences for perpetrators of violence. And this also applies to everyone who continue to attack media, civilians and law enforcement officers.